Ladies and gentlemen, there's going to be two groups of cicadas coming out of the ground for the first time in 221 years. <clears throat> the last time this occurred was in 1803, which means our forefathers would have still been on plantations. And that's a long time, 221 years. 17 different states in the country will witness this. And they said it will be over a trillion of these cicadas coming out of the ground. That is just crazy. So spring of 2024 will be a buzzing with more than a trillion cicadas expected to appear across the U.S. for the first time in 221 years. Two groups of cicadas will emerge from underground in 17 states across the country. Some of the states will see both, such as Illinois and Indiana. Most cicada species come out every year, but in the United States, there are two periods of cicadas that stay underground. One is for 13 years. The other, every 17 years, they come out of the ground. So the last time we had both above ground was 1803. So remember, we're going to see things we never seen before in these final days. And you may even hear about animals coming back that people thought were extinct. All right, so this year you will see a simultaneous explosion of cicadas in North America. So the cicadas rose above ground simultaneously, both different broods. In 1803, when Thomas Jefferson was president and Napoleon was thinking about invading England. So what makes this emergence so um, unique is different broods because usually they don't come out at the same time, you know, being that it's a 13 year and a 17 year cicada. So <clears throat> this year is different since two broods are adjacent to each other and even have a slight overlap. Okay, so one brood is the XIX, which uh, when you pronounce it, it's Zex. That brood comes out of the ground every 13 years. And the other one, the brood 13, that one comes up every 17 years. No, I, I'm not confused on that, by the way. So the brood Zex, that's the X-I-X, -X, is the largest of all of the cicada broods. And the last time it emerged was 2011 in states like Maryland through Georgia, parts of the Midwest like Iowa to Oklahoma. All right. And also you have a, a cicada mania. And that cicada you see in places like Alabama, Arkansas, Georgia, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Louisiana, Missouri, Mississippi, North Carolina, Oklahoma, South Carolina, Tennessee, and Virginia. So all of those states will see brood Zex this coming spring. So brood 13 
will be seen in Iowa, Illinois, Wisconsin, and they said possibly uh, Michigan. Okay. And the state of Delaware, they said we'll see, should see both. They should see both. So it'll be an interesting summer. I'm sure it'll be with over a trillion out of the ground. And it should be quite loud. <laughs> I can imagine. Now, when will they emerge? They said between mid-May to the end of June. Mm -mm -mm. So they said they can get noisy. 105 decibels. 105 decibels. Wow. So cicadas are really harmless, to be honest with you. They probably look more unsightly than what they really are. They don't really do much of anything to you. They're not poisonous. And, you know, there's a lot of people that eat them. You know, I used to have a math teacher when they would emerge in my state, he would roast them and bring them to school and just sit there and snack on them. And he was like, they taste like peanut butter, you know. Uh, so anyway, it should be a very interesting year. They're not harmful, not even to your pets. So y'all, what do you think about something that's occurring in the country that has not occurred for 221 years? No, we don't see these things for no reason. And somebody was asking me, is are cicadas and locusts in the same family? The answer to that is no. They are absolutely separate. Locusts, they're a whole different family of grasshoppers. And cicadas, they don't even look the same. They're totally different insects. So y'all, please tell me what you think about this video. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.